Welcome to Fun For Free, I'm your host Mac Chista, and this is the series where we take a look at games you can get right now for free. As long as the bulk of the game's content can be accessed for a princely sum of nothing, it could make its way onto the channel. Today we are taking a look at a small game called Codename Cure. This is a zombie game similar to the likes of Left 4 Dead. Swarms of zombies coming at you that you gotta fight off. Codename Cure is a simple game with but three modes, Bomb Escape arguably being its main one. Here there are five classes to choose from, a point man, a class where you're armed with a semi-automatic shotgun and dual pistols. The support class gives you a supply chest that replenishes ammo, armor, and health. The assault class has access to a high capacity, high damage assault rifle to mow down zombies. The technician can deploy a sentry turret that can autonomously kill zombies. And the sniper class is given a high powered sniper rifle that can pick zombies off at a range. You have to fight your way through a horde of zombies to plant a bomb in a specified location. Once you've made your way to the bomb site, you plant it and are then put on a timer. Fight your way to the evac point before the bomb explodes and and you win. There are a few different maps to keep things fresh, and these provide a mixture of close quarter and open field engagements. Similar to games like, say, Payday 2, individual maps do change layouts in small ways on each playthrough, although it's really nothing of note. The game does have a PvP mode, which is really nothing to write home about, just a free-for-all but with zombies. There's also your typical endless survival mode, where zombies come at you in waves, each bigger than the last, and you fight them off for as long as possible, acquiring new and better weapons as you go along. It's a decent mode, but the maps here are noticeable uninteresting, at least the ones that come in the base game. You're really not maneuvering through the maps in any interesting ways either. You mostly just stick to the more open parts of the map to increase your survivability. Overall, decent, fun mode, but definitely could be better. The gameplay, all in all, isn't that much of a spectacle. You're just kind of killing zombies. There are no real special variants to break up the monotony of the ever-massing hordes. It's just normal zombies and slightly stronger zombies. The game provides a decently fun challenge. After all, it is pretty hard to mess up the tried-but-true formula of killing stuff. That being said, the zombies are pretty spongy, taking a lot of hits to take down to the point where a lot of satisfaction from the thing is taken out of it. Also, whenever a zombie hits you, your camera bobs all over the place, messing up your aim, and it's mostly just kind of annoying. Reloading is also incredibly frustrating because you have to wait for the animation to fully complete its cycle before you're actually loaded, and interrupting that animation at any point completely resets it. There's like a full second between when your character pulls the bolt back and when your ammo is actually replenished and ready to fire. It gets con confusingly frustrating when you think you reloaded, you pop a grenade, then try to unload what you think is a fresh magazine, only to find out that you didn't let that animation play that half second, so now you have to reload all over again. The game does have online multiplayer, but more often than not, you'll be playing by yourself. Luckily, the game does have AI teammates, but they're incredibly basic. They mostly just kind of follow you around and shoot at what needs to be shot at, which sounds pretty reasonable, but they have no sense of self-preservation, for lack of a better term. If a zombie approaches them or attacks them, them, they just kind of stand there until they or the zombie dies as opposed to trying to maneuver around them. The bomb escape mode is also a little odd because based on what I've seen, the game seems to send out zombie waves based on some sort of timer rather than your actual location on the map. It kind of becomes a problem when you're waiting for a door or something to open and you're literally just standing there with nothing to shoot at or do because the game hasn't given you anything to shoot at or do. On a more positive note, the game also has workshop support which ranges from adding legitimate content like new guns gun models, character models, and new maps to freshen things up, but there are of course mods that are just kind of funny. <laughs> okay. There's also a mod that changes the game's soundtrack to songs from the Wiggles. I really hope there's no copyright on that. For what it is, Codename Cure is actually a decent game. A little more than a simple wave shooter complete with classes, it's a good bit of fun. In the grand scheme of things, it's largely unnotable and easily overshadowed by other products on the market. It really just feels like a prototype or a demo for a much bigger thing, so it's really nothing that you or I would play for long. But at the end of the day, it's an alright game. I'll give this one a... 5.5 out of 10. Now, do I recommend you take the time to install and play it? Well, I guess there's no hurt in doing so, after all it is free, but obviously there's gonna be games out there that do what this game does, but better, and they really don't even cost that much. But, at the end of the day, it's a free game, and who am I to argue against that? And that is our review on Codename Cure. Now, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you want to stay up to date with our game and movie reviews, subscribe to the channel, follow the Twitter, and join the Discord. Mac Cheese to Jetavision, signing out. You all have a good one. We will